Folks, we're going to be testing out the new VO3 by Google AI from their new announcements yesterday. So let's take a look at how it does as a quick first look. So when you go to Google Search Labs and get to Google Flow, you'll notice that you can't actually generate anything if you don't have an AI subscription. Um, it just will fail to generate if you type anything in. And right now they're doing currently zero month off as introductory. So people could sign up and technically use VO2 to make these videos. But I wanted access to VO3, which is locked behind this 250 a month Google AI Ultra. Uh, but they are currently doing a promotion. It's half off for three months, and then it will be 250. Um, so I think as a testing, getting into AI, maybe you guys have seen in some of my other videos. I made some B-roll now, um, which I think helps accelerate the video creation process, and of course makes it uh, faster to do. So you get a certain amount of credits um, in flow when you do this, and it's about 150 credits when creating a video on flow. Um, so now that I'm set up, you can see here it says uh, Google Ultra on the top right. Um, again, you get the monthly credits, and we're just this is the first time using it. So this is actually honestly the first look. Um, wasn't sure what video to come up with, so I just literally typed in like, okay, what if we could get like Goku saying he could speak now? And then, of course, you have to change the settings to actually get the voice output, which showcases here is VO3. And once you select that, um, it will use your credits. Of course, as I mentioned, 150 credits. Um, there's kind of a page here where they even showcased how much uh, gets worked or how much you could actually make with those credits, which I think is a lot. Um, but, of course, for creatives, people testing out, who knows how many videos you'll have to make. I will say I made a mistake earlier kind of testing out VO2 in Vertex. It actually cost me already $100, so um, definitely don't do that. Um, you know, from that perspective, if you guys are trying to make videos, of course, there is the Sora that you could use, which I did uh, showcase later in this video. Um, and that you have access to that with ChatGPT on $20, uh, $20 a month. So. Some of the stuff I've previously made, if I just kind of showcase is like YouTube thumbnails, <laughs> attractive model, reading book. Um, yeah, really just B-roll footage that I've been testing out. Uh, obviously, I have my personal channel. I'm reviewing books, stuff of that nature. Thing pivoting, going to pivot more into AI. And then the Blend Logic Tech channel, which has typically also been just laptop gaming reviews. But I'm going to also kind of showcase more AI stuff because... I'm in the lab collaborating with one of my friends on one of his new startups, so you'll be seeing more content on AI uh, kind of soon. So if you were just curious what Sora would output, I've never done this before, so at a 480p um, setting, choosing one output at five seconds, we could compare how long it takes to output. So for my general testing, I've done like two prompts in VO3. This is just the first look, of course. Um, you know, highest quality setting kind of takes a while and honestly for Sora I found it takes a while too but today when I was testing it I should produce way faster of course I cut in this video to showcase um, what it actually produces here it actually makes Goku of course there's no sound yet in open AI maybe they'll change that and in this one there's kind of a hallucination like double Goku's going on or something um, and here it did finally finish and I didn't have audio turned on so um, as I turn it on then we'll see no, no change in clicks, no, no nothing. Just this is what this video produced. <sighs> okay, on Terukashimai. <sighs> I can speak now. Okay, on Terukashimai. <sighs> I can speak now. So yeah, for just a simple prompt, I mean, basically that is what I asked. Um, so yeah, you get other settings you could choose from fast and quality, which use VO2. So I do test that out of some previous content I've made, um, maybe as a YouTube laptop reviewer, kind of giving you guys perspective. If this is the type of B-roll content you've been thinking about making, um, you know, maybe you don't have some time to do stuff I mentioned before, kind of with a newborn, stuff of that nature. So this was the VO3 output. It made that keyboard clicking noise. I actually turned it off for this because now I'm doing a voiceover. Um, but you can see it made those clicking noises. 
Um, so it wasn't a bad output. And also when you're paying for this, you could also do fast as well. So I'm not sure, I haven't limit tested flow how many generations you do at the same time, but these of course don't appear to use any fast uh, credits. So kind of clicking through, um, this was the fast setting. Uh, I'll put the full screen video and you guys can take a look for yourself what you think of the content. Essentially, um, I think, you know, they're all usable. One of them has, of course, sound with it. So really from a comparison video from when I first made on Sora, I mean, I don't think that this prompt is usable. Uh, like this guy has two coffee cups. He's raising his arm for some reason. And then the other one, the coffee cup came out of nowhere. Um, so definitely some weird artifacts with Sora on just a simple prompt. This other one kind of pulls out a coffee cup for some reason out of the laptop. Um, this one I think is usable at fast, so you can see kind of the fingers are kind of messed up a little. Um, I will also note that Flow actually lets you upscale to 1080p. Of course, you can do this on your laptop individually, um, but um, I wish it kind of outputted faster. And then here on VO3, what I want to say about VO3 is for this one and the highest quality, definitely I think is usable. It gave a more zoomed out approach. Um, the prompts were all the same. And of course, it gave the audio noise. So one last thing I wanted to test was just kind of doing a little silly test to see just what the outputs would be here. At the full prompt you're seeing here is Reptar versus Godzilla with Pixar 3D animation. And then of course, changing the VO3 to try to get the audio outputs. Um, so it does take a while, like I mentioned. Here it started at 844, and I believe when I cut this video, it gets to 847. And we'll just take a look at what the audio output and output of this prompt is. Roar! Screech! Roar! Screech! Roar! Screech. Yeah, so I guess I don't know why it said roar and screech, but um, it definitely had a monster type roar in the beginning. Anyways, that's my first look at VO3. I'll be testing out more AI stuff uh, and still trying to do some laptop reviews, kind of mixing between my personal channel and Blend Logic Tech. We'll see how it goes. Let me know what prompts you guys want me to test. I'll make other videos just testing it out for you guys. Um, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any comments or other things you'd like to see from this channel, I'm kind of pivoting to an AI type content, exploring in my personal and merging it here with Blend Logic Tech as I expand outside of just gaming laptop reviews. So if you'd like to see more of this content, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh my God, that is, I, oh, I can't believe it.